TheMarshallMan.com. No, the fascia is just a pathway. The conduction of the energy internally inside of yourself is the wheel of the deflamed mind, the, the mental orb, not the ego. Once you're in the ego, your mental energy is, uh, is on flame, it's entrapped, you know, in your head. So once your ego mind is active, uh, your, your mind, your mental energy and body energy are in separation with one another in functionality. So once they separate, you, the, the, in, the body energy and my energy, they are in fragmentation. Okay, so you cannot sense your own energy. So that's why to open up your bodies to release your muscular tension is the first step. The second step is to learn to deflame your mind to and then to modulate this uh, mental energy to come flow with the body energy. And uh, this is uh, this will this will sharpen your body sensations, and uh, then you'll have a you'll have a better chance to feel and sense uh, the the energy flow in the, throughout the fascia. There'll be a tiny, it's a very subtle, you'll, you'll be, be able to sense a very tiny increase of uh, temperature. You know, it's a warmish sensation begin to permeate. So from this, uh, from releasing the fascia, you can go from this uh, flexibility to the permeation of energy and then conductivity and the function of will, but not will, the will of your mind. It's the will of the, the mental orb, I call it, you know, from your chest. And you can sense the energy flow. And then we we'll try to enhance the conductivity through practice. And then later, once you stabilize yourself uh, with it through practice, you can, if you, you can extend the will, you know, into space. So from the skin port to space, it's called intention, okay? So, so at the function of this intention, your mind body energy will automatically get confluent to where your focus of mind is. Okay, this is exactly the mechanism, uh, the, uh, the mechanism that's been prescribed in Tai Chi classics. Because in Tai Chi classics, they have only one sentence about the nature of uh, momentum. And uh, I said, where your focus of mind is, and then energy follows. Where, energy, where there's a energetic throughput, magic happens, okay? And this uh, conception of momentum is distinctively Chinese. If you, if you look into, the, <clears throat> into any other martial arts systems around the world, only Chinese Kung Fu, especially the ancient Chinese Kung Fu, they emphasize this concept of momentum, okay? But uh, now, not that many people is able to demonstrate it properly. You know, it's like, a, to me, before, I, I, th I think I was a dying art, but when I'm looking at the landscape today, I found that, no, it's, it's an it's a endangered, endangered art. Not many people can demonstrate it properly no more. When you use the word momentum, are you using what they describe in Chinese as jin? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. And also you mentioned earlier about the, the contact point, that one shouldn't get stuck and caught up in the contact point. I mean, what is the importance and relevance of bypassing this, this contact point as you described? Okay, uh, the contact point, uh, because we human, humans, so we are no different from the animals. You know? So once you, you begin from the mind, and when you are engaging in, uh, in uh, fighting activity, <clears throat> basically every encounter is a question of life and death. So once you use your mind and try to thrust a punch, first, your mind can have only one focus at a time. And second, uh, the stronghold of the body, the, what's embedded in the, in the body is, uh, is the fear, the, the natural reflex because of fear, okay? So whenever there's a contact, your mind is always on side of the contact from the ego mind. So it's like, it's like a, it's like, okay, the contact point, if we dramatize it like a, like a ball, so I punch it here, my mind is on the contact, and I want to defend myself, my mind is also on the contact, okay, with two, body, two bodies uh, with muscle, muscle tension and force. And then, see, this is a one-way one, <clears throat> one alley, and uh, you two cars are playing chicken, you see? So on side of the contact point, force against force, you entrap yourself and lock up yourself in one spot in space, okay? 
by bypassing, I don't go away, I don't drop, I don't evade, I'm still there. But the thing that I don't have muscle tensions. So by touching here, I just activate my fascia tension, balance with this tension, and then I can tap my intent behind his, uh, his uh, this contact point. And then I use my fascia breathing to breathe with his tension to neutralize his, uh, his impact. So this will give you the whole, the freedom. Your mind can be anywhere in space, but the contact point. Like uh, this is also, I think the Tai Chi classic. When it comes to the Tai Chi classic, it's very interesting. Uh, it's a very good article. And, uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, because uh, the Tai Chi classic is someone who mastered this art and they come back to the mind uh, with the ego. And I try to explain it to people what it feels like, okay? And uh, so the Tai Chi classic, when it comes to th this description of this, it says, it says that, okay, outside of the contact point, don't push, don't drop, don't evade, don't move. What does it mean? It means bypass. Bypass the contact point, harmonize with its tension. And your mind can go anywhere in space, your energy will confluent with you. That's all. And what is the importance of what you mentioned about the fascia breathing? Is this so that you can modulate the energy that's being used? Yes. Yes. So are, are, you, are you modulating your energy or the energy of not, your not I modulate the energy. It's by surrendering and uh, dissolution of my mind, I become in oneness with the energy in animation. I am the energy, not the mind, not the body. I am the energy that which animates the body senses. So through practice, by surrendering, you harmonize your mind first with your body sensations. Now, once your body can release the, the stronghold of the, the wrong habits of attention, muscular, muscular tension, then you be, begin to sense the energy flow. So the, the, to internalize this, uh, to internalize this uh, martial art is to harmonize yourself first with your body sensations. Second, go deeper. You harmonize you, yourself with the energy that which animates the body sensations. You become the energy in animation. Okay, so whereas a martial arts is just a one of the possible ways for external manifestation of this internal freedom, that's all. TheMarshallMan.com